guys. <clears throat> As you can see, there is a Sharon in front of you. Sharon, I have no idea how to pronounce the name. Sure, who are ah, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm here for another review. I'm gonna try to post as many videos as possible. Um, so I just I'm gonna try doing more reviews, maybe weekly, maybe daily. I, I have no idea. Um, but <clears throat> just look out for some reviews. But, um, yes, so this is Sharon. He is a <clears throat> one, he's a traditional one ninth skill. He is an Arab. Uh, is he a mid year release? <clears throat> well, he's um, an exclusive limited edition. Not exclusive, but he's a limited edition. Uh, 3,000, I'm pretty sure. And he is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, wonderful, amazing horse. He's really light. Um, he's a gray. With really nice gray spots on him. Like, um, not muscle spots, but like leg spots. Um, I have shown him before. I'm just looking through my book of placings. Okay, hang on. This is taking a, long, a little longer. But, um, he is really nice. I love him. Um, I got him for $45, which was pretty expensive, but I'm okay with it. I love him. He is totally worth it. Um, I definitely recommend showing him. I found him. Okay. I, I found his packet. Yes, so I have shown him before, and guess what he got? He got a freaking first and a Nan card at his very first show. Um, it really depends on the judge, but I was so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but yes, he got it in breed. So that just show, show, tells you that he's a good show horse. Um, he's a nice little slip, snip. His, um, what is it? Not document, his mold, I guess, is very realistic. I can't find the word. It has very good confirmation for an Arab. And it's really amazing. I mean, a wonderful dish, um, faced face, a gorgeous mane. It's just, oh, it's gorgeous. A nice swish tail. Yep, there's his butt. Um, so yeah, obviously really amazing detail. I really want to get the sorrel or the chestnut on this mold. Uh, it's like a premier collection and I really like him, is he is a stallion. Um, he's really nice. A little mat. Small. Um, person. With, I'm gonna, ugh, sorry you saw my foot. I'm gonna get Magnum again, like I did with Camilla. So, um, yeah, that's how big size comparison is whoa volume again um but yeah he's really small but if you like putting him up for like like breeding um put him as like a perfect horse for like the make a wish mold or something but he is a really nice really gorgeous horse he has whites on his eyes, um, which makes him detailed, and his face is amazing, and I think the mouth was supposed to be open, because if you, as you can see on this side, there's like, uh, plastic, plastic inside there, so I think it was supposed to be open, it just kind of backfired on Briar, um, I'm not sure, but, oh no. Uh, like 
like special certain stores have him. Um, but you can just mosey on around. You you uh, not YouTube. Um, eBay, a model horse sale pages, anything like that. And I'm sure you'll find a great deal. I've seen this guy. As you can see, he has amazing detail. I've seen this guy go for like thirty. I would not pay more than um, forty-five for him. Definitely, he's not worth uh, fifty and up. A very gorgeous model, but yes, definitely not worth fifty and up. And he actually has chestnuts, and I forgot to mention um, the Camilla. She doesn't have chestnuts. Um, well, at least mine doesn't, so, yeah. And certain molds don't, like, uh, I'll have to do a review on them. But yeah, certain molds don't have chestnuts, so just look at that. It's a small, teeny flaw that I'm sure j most judges won't notice because it's such a little, tiny detail. But just look out for it. But thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, yeah. Well, um, hang on. I'm not done. Uh, okay, so two things I don't like about this mold is that, like, what the heck is that in his mane? Oh, I got it. Okay, there's just something in there. Um, but there's, like, a crack, like, a line in his mane. Comment if yours has that, because I'm like, what the heck? Um, oh, there's a thing that's in his mane on my thumb. Jesus. Um, what, yeah, um, another thing that, he kind of is tipsy, and I don't like how he, his hoof is like this. It's kind of weird, because when do you honestly see a horse on the tip of his hoof? doing like a giant like paw i just don't like the tip of the hoof that's just a little awkward to me but besides that those two things he's a great model a wonderful shower and i definitely recommend getting him thank you guys for watching um like if you want some more recommendations sorry for my stupid sniffy nose um but yeah you guys later. Toodles.